So this exercise is about making a uh, isometric view onto perfect dimensions using AutoCAD. So we are not using any 3D AutoCAD, we are still just using 2D AutoCAD and we are going to learn how to make this isometric view. So this is exactly the same example that we worked in the previous exercise but we made orthographic projections of the same object with the top view, the front view and the side view. So using the same dimensions, I am going to make this isometric view that you see over here. Now there are a couple new commands that we are going to learn in this tutorial. One of them is going to the grid and snap settings and changing my cursor that you see over here to an isometric snap. The second important thing is using the ellipse a little different way where we will draw the ellipse using the ISO and the F5 command okay so and rest of the tools still remain the same the lines the uh, offsets and the circles and stuff like that so I'm not gonna go there right now again the tutorial that we use is IMFG so let's start working with this isometric view by using the information that we have from these drawings so I will first thing I will do is go right click uh, onto my my snap which is right here I could right click anywhere it really doesn't matter as far as I'm on my status bar and then I go settings so I go to the snap setting see if I right click on polar tracking I would be here so you could always navigate right by default we have the rectangular snap so when we are working with isometric views, it is important that we go select this one, okay? Unless you have this selected, your isometric view to draw it is going to be a nightmare. So I make sure I select it, I hit OK. Now see how the cursor looks? Now the cursor has changed to the isometric cursor. Now let's start doing this exercise. So first thing I'll be starting with is the outside profile okay starting with the line first I have to make sure that my angles are what isometric will go 30 degree angle so that's the next step that I have to do is make sure I put this on 30 if I don't put it on 30 it's not going to be an isometric view so make sure that you put it on 30 so I will start working right here starting with the line tool enter I'm going to go at that in that direction because I'm drawing this profile right now so I go in this direction 3.25 enter I'm going up 1.75 enter I'm going back make sure all your lines are going parallel so I'm going back one, a 0.5 enter I'll go back this way 0.5 enter I'll go back again parallel 0.5 enter and close it right back now from here I will be going down like you see in the drawing I will be going down 1 enter I will be going back this way 1 enter I will be going up 1 enter go back that way 0.5 enter go back this way 0.5 enter 0.5 enter and actually I did it wrong I have to go in the other direction this way 0.5 enter and this is 0.5 enter and I close it from here I am going down you see I'm going down from here till here so let's see what the distance is from here till here is 1.25 so I'm making a line going down from here in this direction 1.25 enter then I go this way so instead of that I'll go up this way I'll go up this way how much 0.5 enter and then I close where I started okay now this part is done that 
next thing to do is go on to this side which is the side view looking this way so I'll make a line going from here and how deep am I going 2.5 enter I go down 0.5 enter and I close back to the same place now let's do the rest of the circles uh, rest of the squares on the top as well so I am going to go from here I go down how much so if you look this is the view so I'm going down one from that side so but if you look over here see this thing is higher than this level right so this is 0 0.5 this is 1 and this this line goes all the way down till here which is this line so how much is this line let's measure it go from here till here is 0.75 so I'm going down from here 0.75 enter I go back this way how much am I going back that way I'm going back 1.5 enter and I'm going up the same distance 0.75 enter and then I go this way 0.5 enter go that way 0.5 enter this way 0.5 enter and 0.5 okay so I hope you're following how I'm going through this exercise so I am going to try to finish this by using my line tool going back down going back that way later on I will go ahead and trim all of those going back down this way there's a line going that way so there's a little bit imagination that's required to do this as well going back this way so you have to visualize how your object is going to look in 3d okay I'm just trimming all my lines so I will go back down from here 0 0.75 0 0.75 enter I'm going to go this way is 1.5 enter I'll go up 0.75 enter I'll go to the right or I'll go back this way 0.5 enter go back that way 0.5 enter go back this way 0.5 enter and then I will go back down this is 1 enter and it's actually I think 1.25 okay and then I finish back in the right place I'll make sure that I connect these lines I connect these lines I make sure I go down this is the depth okay and then from here I will have a line going back right there so I'll go ahead and trim my object and I'm pretty much done other than just putting in my circles I have another line coming back this way okay so I will snap it right back so now let's go ahead and do the circle for the circle we have to work with uh, an ellipse command and this is a few extra steps that we go with ellipse when it comes to isometric views so let's see how we do that so I type EL for ellipse or you could even go up here so I type ellipse It's asking me arc center or iso circle so I have to make sure I type iso for iso circle without that this is not going to work hit enter now it's saying specify center of the ISO circle I specify that and the next thing is the diameter I know it goes all the way up till here so when I specify the center there's the key which is F5 if I could hit see it changes the ellipse on X Y and Z so you have to make sure which one do you need if I'm drawing on this surface I would need this but I'm drawing on that surface so I have to make sure I use this ellipse so that's done okay now I can trim this TR I don't want that part neither do I want this part once that is done I'll go copy CO enter select my ellipse 
from that point which is the topmost point till the lowermost point okay so again the way you copy is important as well so I can erase these these this line or maybe I'll just keep it right now I'll erase it in a little bit after I draw the small circle then I will have to join a line from there to there which is the extreme end of the curve so my outside ellipse or the circle is done now I'll do the inside one which is circle from the center again I forgot to do one thing I forgot to put ISO see it won't work so I have to do ellipse enter I have to type ISO ISO enter I have to pick the center point to make sure if it's on the right surface by pressing F5 and I give it a diameter of 1 okay that took as a radius as 1 so let's do it again ellipse enter ISO enter select the center point and the radius is going to be 0.5 enter okay so that's done with I'm going to copy this circle down here as well but the way you copy it CO select the circle and the base point is important because I want to copy anywhere from the top of the surface till the bottom right so I take this one as my top point and this one as my bottom point now my ellipse is done I could always go to the extreme uh, nodes or tangents and then draw that again the lower one is going to be hidden so I have to make sure that I hide it even though you don't show uh, hidden lines in isometric views but if you want it you could do it that way okay so now I could select it could select that put it on what layer I could put it on the hidden line layer okay now again this part is hidden as well in fact I can draw a line going from here till there and then trim it okay and make that as hidden okay or I could continue this arc with the hidden line again it's up to me so usually you don't show hidden lines so I'm going to avoid showing the hidden lines but it's up to you so if you want you can go ahead and show the hidden line I'll just go put it in there anyways okay I'm just going to adjust that curve so it looks right and then I will match attributes MA okay so that's done even this point I could do it but I hope you understood how I work with this tutorial now once the you have to understand the few basic steps of working with isometric views all your lines should be 30 degrees all the lines have to be parallel to each other if they are not parallel then you're doing something wrong you have to follow for making the ellipse you have to give the ellipse command with the ISO to make sure that the ellipse falls onto the right surface then what other thing that you need to know uh, you give your dimensions exactly you give your depths exactly to the dimensions and then that makes your isometric drawing so I could make another layer for my center line and I could put the center line there but I already have it here and I don't feel like doing it again so I'm just going to copy it from the center of the circle to the center of this circle okay so that completes this assignment I hope you followed now uh, it is a little bit complicated in the beginning so it might be tough to follow me because I might be going fast some places but you have the option of going back and uh, rewinding the video and watching it over and over again my advice with my tutorials would be every time you wanna follow my tutorials make sure that you view the whole tutorial first without trying to work with AutoCAD and in the second chance that you use that time you could start working with me because you already know what exactly I'm trying to achieve with this exercise so I hope you follow what's going on here again any questions uh, I appreciate and
please do share this videos if you like them please hit the like button and I will see you soon thank you